All right, so welcome to Doreen's African Experiences and today we are trying to get for you prices of tiles different tiles and we're gonna put our focus on goodwill tiles mostly mostly goodwill tiles so let me get right, into so it back and uh, this is Mokono if you see that far out, that's the trading center in Mokono, Mokono town. It's right in the center and it's basically five minutes. This shop that I'm documenting today, it's five minutes away from the center. And I'll be attaching the contacts of this place so you'll be able to reach out to this person if you have any questions and I'm sure they'll be very helpful. So I need you to take note, whatever prices I'm including in this video, I know initially the goal was to give you wholesale prices, but I'm going to give you retail prices. Uh, basically because people are not very comfortable sharing wholesale prices. They say it affects their partners. But that's all well. At least you'll have a starting price. And then when you reach out to the lady or gentleman, whoever you find, they'll be very helpful and they'll give you exactly what you need because they have a lot of stock. And I think these are the biggest wholesalers of tiles in the entire Mokono. So if you want something and you don't find it here, chances are high you'll have to go to Kampala industrial area for it. But I'm quite sure you'll find what you need right here. So um, we're going to start with uh, different sizes of tiles. Now while I do this video, it's not going to be a very long video but it's going to be very informative. So. We're going to discuss different sizes, different uh, necessities. I mean, and by the way, Goodwill tiles are all ceramic. Uh, I've been advised and told that the word ceramic, it means, it, has, it means anything that has any content of clay. They are very good. Ceramic tiles in Uganda, most of them are actually made here in Uganda, in Kapeka, and others are imported from Tanzania. Kenya makes these tiles as well, but it's not as common in Uganda. It's not because they don't buy them, but because of uh, the prices, I believe. The price changes are quite different. So, we're going to start with our 40 by 40. Now, uh, before I go any further, I need to explain something to you. Uh, tiles in Uganda, um, when you're buying them, you buy them in uh, wholesale, sorry, in square meters. So when you go to buy tiles, you need to get someone to come to your establishment and measure how many square meters you have. Now, for every box, every box has a different number of square meters that it can carry. So when you go to these people to buy these tiles, they'll tell you how many square meters are, or rather how many boxes are within your square meters so take note when you go to buy from them tell them how many square meters you measured out and then go further to explain to them what you need there is a variety of tiles but you need to understand goodwill also makes porcelain tiles porcelain tiles are those shiny tiles now like this you see, when you can see a reflection in a tile, it's porcelain. Yes, but there are different grades to it. And some of them are imported either from uh, India. It depends, but different countries actually make these. You know, now like this, this is one of those. I guess you can clearly see me. I forgot to say thank you. I'm not one that never says thank you. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers, guys. It's been a long way. It's been a very, very long way, but we're going to get there. And at this point, I just enjoy creating content and sharing knowledge with all of you. Now, let me get into the prices. So, um, those tiles that you see on that, by 40. now 40 by 40 are basically what most people buy for their houses. 
that's what we usually refer to as normal size so normal size tiles are basically uh, at retail prices they are going for and that's those ones the different designs different ideas they are going for 40,000 shillings to 46,000 shillings. Right now, the dollar is at 3,780 something. It's approaching 3,800. So, for those that need different prices on these things, you need to actually go down in dollars. So, you need to do the math for yourself. I have a lot of prices going on in shillings. I don't think I can translate all of them into dollars. I use the dollar because the dollar is the most used foreign currency here besides the shilling. Most people transact business in dollars, so that's why the dollar is my choice of uh, currency if I'm translating. If you have the pound, if you have anything other than the dollar, please do the math yourself. You can type these prices in Google and ask how many dollars are in 46,000 shillings and then they'll tell you. So, uh, 40 by 40 is going for 40,000 shillings to 46,000 shillings and that's in retail. But you need to understand if you are buying many tiles from somebody, anywhere, it doesn't have to be this place, but anywhere really. These people are capable of giving you a discount. They are capable of, you're capable of negotiating. Uganda is a negotiation economy. In Uganda, you have to be very very negotiable or negotiative whatever the english word is you have to learn to negotiate in this country so for anything that you want it doesn't have to just be tiles you have to be very very much willing to negotiate now that is a retail price for wholesale price it's probably less but you have to talk to her about that uh, it's not been exactly something I want to discuss because I'm not allowed to discuss the wholesale price and that's how business works here no one is going to give you a price just because so you have to come down if you're gonna buy at least you have a starting price you have an idea so this video is basically to give you an idea on how much things are costing okay I remember when I was tiling a boys quarter I remember explaining to you everything you need when you're going to tile and I'm gonna I'm going to explain them again in this video I hope you understand or learn something anyway so 40 by 40 is going for 40,000 shillings to 46,000 shillings are uh, 50 by 50 now 50 by 50 is actually big okay so this this is an example of 50 by 50 those you see how big they are so 50 by 50 50 by 50 on, on wholesale price is going for 75 sorry on retail price is going for around 75 thousand shillings to 80 thousand shillings okay and these are porcelain or porcelain <laughs> you all have your own english i have mine but i hope you understand what i mean and then 60 by 60 is going for 85 thousand shillings to 90 thousand shillings and this is how 60 by 60 tiles look like they are very very big okay so i know for a fact i've seen way bigger tiles but you, you, you unless unless really because i've seen people making tiles as big as countertops you know so it's really up to you but most people that use these big tiles if you have a very big house you know if you have a very big house eight bedrooms and so on it's wise for you to actually go ahead and use very big tiles because then they look better they look good and then but they're expensive because in a box of 60 by 60 you could be finding about four pieces and yet the smaller boxes can have up to countless pieces in there so up to eight some have 15 some have 20. now are you get 30 by 30 are usually what people call bathroom tiles now those 30 by 30 are going for retail 
33,000 shillings to 36,000 shillings. Now, uh, why, what do you mean by bathroom towels? If you're gonna buy towels for the bathroom, make sure they're not slippery. They have to be rough because the highest deaths, I think in this country, most of them actually, I mean, besides other things, there were people falling in bathrooms and dying. So you don't want to be a victim. You don't want your household to have a victim of things like that, you know? So when you're buying bathroom tiles on the floor, please, they shouldn't be uh, slippery, yeah? I know even uh, Porcelain has uh, bathroom tiles for the floor that's actually rough. So you have to choose what, what's best for you, okay? What's best for you. And this is how they look on the back. And then, this is how these look on the back. Very big difference. But you get the idea, yeah? You get the idea. So Goodwill tiles are basically stone and clay. They're good. But uh, if you're going to buy... <laughs> If you're going to buy our, uh, the types of tiles that's porcelain, they have their advantages. Every tile has its advantages, so you have to keep a lookout for that. We have face tiles. Face tiles are 25 by 40. What do I mean by face tiles? Face tiles are basically the types of tiles that people... You've seen people who build houses and then put tiles on their walls instead of plastering and what? and uh, painting and stuff like that, they put tiles. So that's what they call face tiles. Those face tiles, for them, they have a net price. It's 43,000 shillings a box. You get that? So those are what they call face tiles, yes? And um, then we have wall tiles. So wall tiles are basically the tiles you can put on the wall in your bathroom, in your kitchen, you know, I've even seen people go ahead to even put tiles on the wall of the entire house. So it's really up to you. It's, and also it comes down to how much money you're willing to spend. So if you're willing to spend and you have a beautiful home, you can put wall tiles in both your bathroom and your kitchen. And my advice is if you're going to put wall tiles, try to put wall tiles from ground to top. Okay? Don't just put wall tiles halfway I mean you can put halfway but make sure the person that's gonna paint over the wall above that knows what they're doing okay because I've seen some houses where people have tiles and someone painted and the paint is falling all over the tiles and the whole thing doesn't look beautiful at all it's very disappointing you don't want that you really don't want that okay uh, so we've discussed all types of tiles. The prices for wall tiles is 33,000 to 35,000. Remember, all these prices are negotiable and they also depend on the market. But one thing I've come to understand today is that the prices of tiles is a bit down all over the country. So you keep a lookout, keep a lookout for yourself. And at least now you have an idea of what you need. Okay? Uh-huh. What didn't I talk about? So I'm going to talk about the prices of other things that you need to make tiles. Okay? The other things that you, you, you need when you're tiling up your house are very, very small things. Just a few things. Okay? You need uh, adhesive. You need grout. You need spacers. You need strips. You know? And then you need steel wire. So now spacers they look like this see probably one or two packs is enough for you or depending on the size you're tiling up and according to how spacers are the this is 1.5 in size right and this one goes for a pack it's going for 3,000 shillings and then adhesive there are different companies making adhesive so uh, the box sorry a bag of adhesive right a bag of adhesive is ranging all of them are ranging from 18,000 going up but some are 18, you know it's very important that your grout is waterproof and also uh, you choose your adhesive or grout depending on the colors of your tiles okay so 
if you have white tiles please don't go choosing uh what gray so gray 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 adhesive is good for our uh, tiles that's neutral you know like black watch what so if you're choosing your black tiles please be advised and careful how you choose your what uh how you choose your colors of grout now some people actually also use a bit of stone dust these are what they call strips this is the plastic one it looks like this and it's a single one of it is five thousand shillings and then there is a metallic one empire coca strip come this one is the metallic one it's going for eight thousand shillings there are different ones there is gold and silver depending on where you go and some are going for at least 10,000 shillings at most but 8,000 shillings to 10,000 shillings okay what else what else what else what else is on my list uh, oh yeah 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 remember that video i did on uh marble marble what on marble marble and granite countertops yeah those people also make tiles so these things are very dependent on how much money you have and how much money you're willing to spend that's why it comes down to okay how much do you have how much are you willing to spend and what do you need so there are two types there is porcelain there is a uh, goodwill goodwill is basically ceramics ceramic tiles are good okay every type of tile has its own advantages and by the way these are strips you know after you put your tiles yeah those were small things you put on the wall to match up your tiles so you can buy these or you can buy an extra box or two and then the people can cut them into pieces and put those just to be exact so some people do that and those that don't want to do that they are going out and buying these these are 10,000 I think a box hmm no a box was 70 75 but a single piece is I think 3,500 like 3,000 shillings to 3,500 a piece okay but that goes down to the boxes as well all right guys so that was Doreen's African experiences please subscribe like and share thank you for keeping up with me I'm going to go down and note down these prices and thanks for watching right so don't forget that's the place that's the place it's basically in Mokono town Mokono town so when you come to Mokono town you that's Mokono town the center is right in front you move five minutes away from that and then on your right if you're coming from the town if you're leaving the town for the town it's on your on your on your left right next to Toto petrol station so it's a good way to direct people to find this place it's very near it's very close and yeah thanks guys thanks for everything thanks for 1000 subscribers I'm so happy we love you so much well it's just me but I love you all thank you it's been amazing